So vectors multiplying by a scalar in component form. What you already know is that a vector is an arrow, that's u, and if we want to multiply u by 2, it just gets twice as long. 2u, and if we want to halve the length of u, we just write it like this, and that's half u. So, what do we do if our vector is expressed not as an arrow, but in component form? Let's say that u is equal to 3i minus 4j. What would a vector twice as long as that be? Well, it's really straightforward. Uh, we just follow our algebraic rules. We can just say that 2u, a vector twice as long as u, would be equal to 2 times 3i minus 4j. Okay, so... Distributive law, 2 times 3i is 6i, 2 times negative 4j is negative 8j, and we have our answer, a vector that is twice as long as u is 2u, which we just multiply component form by 2. What if we wanted something that was half as long? Well, that's also not difficult at all. Half u is equal to half times 3i minus 4j, which is 3 over 2i, uh, negative 4 times a half is negative 2, negative 2j. Great. That's multiplying by a scalar vectors if they're written in component form. Easy stuff.